Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can achieve this hairstyle and this makeup in a separate video, so stay tuned. As you can see, I'm starting off looking a bit crazy. I do have color corrector on my face, and that's usually because I do my hair before I do my makeup. But I refuse to let YouTube catch me slipping. That won't be happening today, no. I'm using gel, a brush, and a comb, and I'm undoing the twists from last night. I washed my hair, detangled, conditioned, and if it's a bit rough, you know, bear with me. It looks a bit crazy, but that's what happens. I just took a break to go wet my edges, and now I'm applying gel to my hair. I feel that gel works better with damp hair, and I'm using that black girl staple, a toothbrush, to smooth out my baby hair. I wasn't really given much baby hair. I don't know how some of you guys have so much. I'm jealous. You're gonna wanna put your hair in two ponytails and the hair in the back is just placed in a bun. It doesn't really matter how the hair in the back looks because the wig is so curly and big that you're not going to see anything anyway. So again, I'm just smoothing out some more and you're going to want to twist your two ponytails now. I was listening to music while I was doing my hair, you know, just to keep me occupied, staring at a blank camera. So you may see me jamming out a couple times in this video or the next, but that means nothing. I'm always dancing. You know, I've noticed that during these hotter months that gel isn't really working on my baby here. It'll lay it for a couple hours, but then it'll go right back to being fuzzy. So I need to figure out what to do. I'm thinking about using holding spray. Tying down my do-rag and we're trying to set the baby here in place. After I've set my do-rag, it's time to do my makeup. I'm including here a clip of me doing my everyday makeup routine. It's foundation, highlight, and contour. And you should check it out if you wanna learn how I do my makeup. It's a bit different from some of the beauty bloggers, only because I've combined all their ideas to find a solution that best works for me. And my round face, obviously. So you should check it out because I'm giving you a thorough talk through. Click the link to the side or down below. That spot on my elbow came from doing my makeup in the living room in a place where I'm not accustomed to doing my makeup and now I made a mess of myself, so that's great. <laughs> I have two pieces of Marley here and they came from the Janet Hair Collection I'm showing you right here. The pack already came divided in two and I just used half of the pack to make each twist. I'll have the link in the description box along with my jewelry and my outfit in the description box as well. So I'm just making my hair into two little buns and I'm gonna wrap each twist onto those buns. I did wrap this side a little messy and now looking back, I do realize that my buns were probably a little bit too low. I should have made my ponytail higher so that my buns didn't stick out to the side and more to the front if you know what I mean. But yeah, it still turned out cute, so I'm not gonna complain. Here is my lace front wig now. You're surprised because it's not a half wig, but this is a type of lace front wig where it doesn't have much parting space. So you're not going to notice any lace or make-believe scalp. I'm showing you here that I've tied the inside where you would put the straps. I've tied them and crossed them on top of each other to make it smaller so that it'll fit the half of my head and not the whole of my head. This wig is one of my favorites. I've bought it once before and I will have the details again in the description box and you can also check it out on my blog, No Country for Old Trends. This here is from Isis Hair Collections, RCP717 Afro Kinky 18. The fact that I've remembered this code tells you how much I like this hair. Now we're on to the part that I think a lot of people neglect to do. Ladies, you need to secure your hair. I feel like the wind 
is a little bit too strong for these wigs sometimes and bobby pins help to do that i use bobby pins on almost all my wigs half wig lace front i don't care and you can use the hair from the wig to actually hide the bobby pins be sure to bobby pin the sides as well because if the wind blows the sides you can still be revealing lace front and you don't want that to happen at all bobby pin and then you'll be secure and then the wind can blow and no one will know any different just doing a bit of detangling and then we're all done yes that is the finished product and i hope you enjoyed please give me a thumbs up and subscribe check out my everyday makeup routine link below thanks for watching